Welcome back to Sports Class with Dr. K. So college football is in full swing, and that can mean only one thing. Clemson and Alabama will be playing for the national championship in a few months. Alabama has made the college football playoff in each of the first five years of its existence. Clemson has made it for the last four years. And these two teams have played in the playoff every year for the last four years, three of those in the championship game. So that means these two teams have dominated college football lately. You either love one of these two teams or like the rest of us, you hate both of them. Either way, college football for the last five years means Clemson versus Alabama. So let's take a closer look into this rivalry. The two teams have played 19 times over the years. Uh, Clemson has had the better of it lately and they had the better of it in the very beginning. Clemson won their first meeting in 1900, 35 to zero. What else happened in 1900, you ask? Milton Hershey invented the chocolate Hershey bar. Clemson won the first three matchups by a combined score of 78 to zero. It would be more than a century before they beat Alabama again. Alabama won every meeting between these two teams from 1909 to 2016. 13 games. The teams have split the last four games, all in the college football playoff. And one last interesting note, the number one team in the country has lost all four of those games. Alabama might be considered the big brother in this relationship. Their school is older and bigger, and their football team has a richer history, not to mention 14 more national championships than Clemson. The University of Alabama was established in 1820 and opened its doors to students in 1831. The football team was established in 1892 and for several years was called the Thin Red Line or the Crimson White after the team colors. The name Crimson Tide goes back to 1907 after the team played the favored Auburn Tigers to a 6-6 tie. The game was played after a heavy rainstorm. The field was a slop mud fest and the players came out of it soaked and covered with red mud. Sports writer Hugh Roberts described the Alabama players after the game as the Crimson Tide and the name stuck. It's also a little curious that one of the team mascots of the Crimson Tide is an elephant. Where did that come from? Well, that curiosity goes back to 1930, a season when Alabama went 11-0 with nine shutouts on its way to the national title. After watching the Alabama Ole Miss game that season, sports writer Everett Strupper told a story in which he recalled fans shouting, Hold your horses, the elephants are coming! A reference to Alabama's huge offensive linemen. Strupper and other sports writers began referring to those linemen as the Red Elephants, and the team sometimes brought an elephant on the sidelines as a mascot. Eventually, the elephant stuck as one of their team emblems. So Clemson is the little brother in this scenario in many ways. It was founded in 1889. What else happened in 1889, you might be wondering? The Eiffel Tower opened in Paris. Why are the Clemson Tigers known as the Tigers? Well, that story goes back to 1896 when Clemson coach Walter Merritt Riggs brought the nickname from his alma mater, another team, the Auburn Tigers. Riggs also brought the team colors, orange and purple. So a lot of Clemson's tradition goes back to Auburn. What's the deal with that rock, Howard's Rock, uh, in Clemson Stadium? Uh, it was given to coach Frank Howard by a friend who picked it up in Death Valley, California. The rock was first placed at the top of the hill in 1966, and players began rubbing it for good luck in 1967. Let's talk about a few more interesting connections between these two teams. Everybody knows that Clemson coach Dabo Swinney played as a wide receiver at the University of Alabama. Side note, why is Dabo called Dabo? Apparently his older brother Tripp used to call him Dat Boy when they were kids in Alabama. Dabo! So everybody knows Dabo played at the University of Alabama, but did you know five different Clemson head coaches played their ball at Alabama, including their three winningest head coaches, Dabo, Frank Howard, and Danny Ford. 
These two programs lead the way in terms of current NFL players. 31 former Clemson Tigers are currently in the NFL, including quarterback Deshaun Watson and wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. For Alabama, there are 62 former Crimson Tide players in the NFL. That's double the number of Clemson players, including wide receivers Julio Jones and Amari Cooper. So, it may feel like Clemson is the little brother in this relationship, but they have owned college football for the last several years. Trevor Lawrence and company seem destined for another title this year, unless Nick Saban has something to say about it. I think we have a caller. Welcome to Sports Class with Dr. K. Hi, Dr. K. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Welcome. Um, I have a question for you. Is the University of Miami the best football team in Florida? No. So who do you think is going to win the title this year? Comment below, like, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. All right, I hope you guys were paying attention. This will be on the test.